I'm Vice Admiral Dave Pekoski, your new Pacific Area Commander. It's a privilege to have the opportunity to talk with you today uh, from Alameda, from the High Endurance Cutter Pier with the Cutter Sherman behind me. I had the privilege of relieving Vice Admiral Charlie Worcester on the 29th of May at a ceremony here in Alameda. And I'd like to acknowledge Admiral Worcester's tremendous contributions to the Coast Guard uh, during his last two years in active service as a Pacific Area Commander and over the course of his entire 37-year career. Let me also, at the very beginning of my remarks, thank each and every one of you for your service to the Coast Guard, for your service to the country. Admiral Worcester passed to me his great admiration for the work you were doing in Pacific Area. Uh, from my perspective, coming from the position as the Assistant Commandant for Operations, I would totally echo his comments. And so it's a real privilege for me to have the opportunity to serve with each of you here in Pacific Area. I would like to talk to you about the three priorities I have for my tenure as your area commander. And those three priorities are our mission, our people, and Coast Guard modernization. And I'll talk about each of them for just a few minutes uh, as we go through our conversation this morning. First, let me talk about the mission. Pacific Area is known for its outstanding mission performance. My goal as your area commander is to continue that outstanding mission performance throughout the area and in fact do everything we can to continue to raise the bar in our mission performance. We do outstanding work in maritime safety, in maritime security, and in maritime stewardship. I, I would challenge each and every one of you to continue to look for ways to do our mission best and to place that at the very top of your priority list of doing everything we can to further improve our mission performance and improve your individual readiness to perform our mission. Next thing I'd like to talk to you about is you, the Pacific Area people. Throughout the Coast Guard, there is a plan that is considered the gold standard uh, for people support, and that's the Pacific Area People Plan. This plan is truly outstanding in that it provides a very solid basis to introduce the newest members of our workforce to the Coast Guard. I would ask that you take a moment, go on the web, or look in your, your, your unit's library for the Pacific Area instruction that describes the Pacific Area People Plan. Implement what's called for in that instruction, not just to the letter, but truly to the spirit. Uh, the success of our Coast Guard always has been, always will be, the success of our people and that is a clear central focus of mine. I'd also like to, to talk for just a minute about Coast Guard modernization. As you may be aware, we have a very significant modernization effort ongoing in our service. It's the biggest modernization we've ever undertaken uh, in the history of the Coast Guard. There are four elements to it. Uh, there are two of them that are focused mostly on Coast Guard headquarters, the Deputy Commandant for Operations and the Deputy Commandant for Mission Support. Uh, I will focus primarily on the two that exist out in the field. Uh, this is the stand-up of the Coast Guard Operations Command and the stand-up of the Coast Guard Force Readiness Command. Operations Command will be based in Portsmouth, Virginia, and our plan is to stand up the Operations Command beginning in the summer of next year. Operations Command will be the single operational command for the Coast Guard, and so once it stands up, there will no longer be a Pacific area and an Atlantic area, but just a singular operations command with all the districts reporting to the operational commander. This should standardize the way we conduct operations throughout the Coast Guard. The other major field element is one that we're working on very hard here in Pacific area. We will stand up, uh, according to our plans, the uh, Coast Guard Force Readiness Command beginning about the 1st of June of 2009. This command's mission is to provide ready, capable forces to the operational commander, to the tactical commander. Uh, this command will totally embody the Coast Guard's motto of Semper Paratus, of being always ready. Uh, we've done a lot of work here already in Pacific Area. Uh, we've got a lot more work to do to really put together what will be a totally new entity in the Coast Guard in less than a year's time. And I'm looking forward to working with everybody on that effort. Let me close by thanking you again for your tremendous work in service to the Coast Guard, in service to your country. Uh, and let me reiterate how pleased, how proud, how honored I am to be standing here as your area commander. I'm looking forward to getting out throughout the theater, to meeting many of you, and to watching your performance of our mission. And I look forward to that over the next several months. Thank you. 
in Semper Paratus.